Okay, so I came to Spirit Halloween, the location in Denver, so I could find my ghost face jersey. I ended up finding it, and I just love spooky season and scary movies and stuff. Ghost face, my favorite. I love all of the screams and all of these masks. I don't know if I'm going to wear a mask with my jersey on the, you know, night of Halloween. I don't know yet. Yeah, and you know, Chucky and all his other homies, and I'm going to try this ugly. <laughs> I'm going to try this ugly uh, Freddy Krueger <laughs> mask. And go scare my friend. Dun 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 Just stop thinking about it. Stop caring. Let it go. Do it. Show me you don't care.
That, look, that looks a whole lot like you caring about them. Um, Axe Landon ain't one. I want to go home right now. Take me home. Sephora haul. I went to Ulta for some hand sanitizer and a mascara, but they actually had a really great sale. It was buy one, get one 50% off select items. And I felt like anytime around the fall, like late September, early October, for like a good week, a week and a half, they always had really great sales. And my birthday is next week, so of course, so of course, I went shopping in advance to treat myself but i'm gonna show you all the stuff that i got from sephora only because i just got like three four things there i went to go get my summer shade fall shade and a new uh, the skin tint that i've been using by fenty lately when the woman shade matched me and sephora it was so perfect it blended in like i couldn't even tell that she had put it on so i can't wait to use this but i already have a uh, um, the blurring skin tint and 17 and this is 18 so the fact that my skin is really staying in the same range is something I'm pretty sure earlier this summer I was definitely a lot darker I was probably like I don't know the 20s or something but this is the eavesdrop blurring skin tint my Fenty Beauty I got my birthday gift came a day or two days early so i got the you to the people superfood cleanser moisturizer and the dream mask i've used them before i've used every single one of these products in here before so the fact that there's a like a travel size option um i usually always get the skincare i never get the makeup choice of the month or and one thing about the sephora employees they would tell you if you don't like the product if it's not what you thought it was if it doesn't smell great or however you imagine it to be bring it back like they literally just tell you to bring it back even if you don't have the receipt they can just put it back onto your card Ooh, actually i'm gonna just keep this for the next time i have to go on a trip um and then i picked up this innisfree daily uv defense sunscreen i did not know that innisfree was korean skincare and they're also vegan but i also feel like a lot of korean skincare brands are vegan or vegan friendly I saw this for like $18. I'm getting it. Yep, it says no white cast, glowy skin. For some reason, I don't know if it's just because I haven't opened up my black girl sunscreen in a while, but I feel like when I put it on, it's so thick that I feel like it's leaving a white cast, but I'm probably just not like used to seeing how dewy it leaves my skin. And some really bad sunscreens, they will have you looking purple. They will have black folks out here looking purple. Then I picked up this Sephora supplement case. Y'all, I thought this was $5. I thought this was $5. And I didn't even ask her to check the price. Because it looked cute. It is a muted pink. Anything neutral, pink, soft tone, I'm going to get it. My iPhone. It's a, no, it's not a rose gold. It is a, it's a soft muted pink. And just anything. I love pink. So, I saw this and like I really don't have a travel case for my supplements. I'm gonna pick this up and it has three or four different departments. So I think this is like one department alone and then it's like split into other ones. Let me double check. Or it might be four. Hold up, wait a minute. So one right here. Especially when I'm going to the gym like early in the morning and I don't have time to Okay, so that's four departments. That was the stuff from Sephora. Now the stuff from Ulta. Okay. A couple of weeks ago, I picked up the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. I've been using it for about a week now. I really like it. And I was in there just like testing out other products from their brand. 
and I saw this bra do treat my essence now I haven't used an essence in years but I know it's really great for you and your skincare because it helps like it helps with absorption and also uh, helps penetrate your skin more so that the other products that you're using on your skin afterwards it just helps it does what it's supposed to do like it helps the other products do their job you know play their role but this discovery kit I have a mini size of this I feel like it's a decent size so I actually need to open it up and see uh and then it came with the gel cleanser the antioxidant cream which it looks like it says moisturize and protect but I don't know if this is a mask it looks like a mask anything that is pink you already know it's given that's my color there's brightening vitamin c and peptide moisturizer from pure or per i don't know how to pronounce the brand's name because i never really heard of it but the lady that was helping me finding stuff in ulta she was just giving me so many different suggestions for stuff that i might like they're vegan and cruelty free so she pointed me to this moisturizer and she like put it on my the back of my hand and i was rubbing it in like i've been needing this my whole life i think i have one other moisturizer that has vitamin c in it maybe from Nutrium, but yeah i think it's that's the only one that i have but this one is very rich and filling and i picked up this lippy pencil in the shade bff3 i also picked up three pumping gloss bombs in the shade doe vk mode and psl so when i first got into makeup i was only wearing like ColourPop and LA Girl NYC um, and a little bit of knits just because like I had never really worn makeup in high school. I wore makeup like to prom and graduation but I didn't do my makeup so I didn't know what was good for me and what wasn't but I was on to ColourPop all of their matte lipsticks, all of their creams, all of their eyeshadows. I still have the shimmering what is it highlighter because I will always get my highlighters from ColourPop. I've only ever gotten one other highlighter from, I want to say Fenty in another brand, but when it comes to highlighters, it's going to be a color pop all day. Because these are like really nice shades for the fall anyway. And like the vacay mode is such a sheer like tint. So these were buy one, get one 50% off. So I want to say they were probably nine or $10. And then I picked up these oval blending sponges. They cost like $2 and lately i've just been getting so frustrated with my like small beauty blenders and you're supposed to like throw those out and get new ones i want to say every six months because just after you clean them so many times the makeup residue and all of that still gets stuck inside of it and there's no actual clean way to like clean the entire beauty blender you can always clean the outside but the inside is still going to be a little nasty so i picked these up and i was also at target and i did not know that sonia kashuk which is a vegan and crazy free brand at um target that has a lot of brushes i did not know that they had these makeup sponges so these are like five dollars i just picked them up too so i can differentiate what concealer i put on these i picked up some more hand sanitizers these are from hemp these are very moisturizing and no uh, they don't have any type of thc or cannabis anything in them my favorite lash essence mascara i hadn't worn mascara pretty much all summer this ultra beauty um hand wash what is the scent vetiver and wood i didn't even smell it i just picked it up just because i don't really care too much about the scents of my hand wash as long as they're moisturizing the last thing i picked up was the lemon gramon body oil i did not know that these were in ulta or that the brand was in ulta in general because i have some of their perfumes i don't know if i've ever no i did show them in one of my like routines but these just smell so so good i always buy them at tj maxx i find them at marshall's and they are so affordable the perfumes are like 12 14 dollars they're never more than 20 dollars but i think the ones in ulta was hitting up to like 15 20 dollars a little more pricey and the Ulta location, the first one I went to, I guess I just never looked for this, but it had like its own stand. It was so nice. I don't even know how you say that, but I think, um, I don't know, Led That Coco also, they have a perfume and it looks really milky. And I don't know if this brand isn't, oh, it is. So this brand is also vegan and cruelty free. I was just about to say, I don't know if they are entirely vegan. I just know that some of their products, they also have like body mists. Okay. 
I was just about to say, this didn't come with a top and I don't like it when stuff just is like this because when I put them in my bag and it just be hidden up against things, but it looks like you can just turn it to be on and off. You know, but the bottle looks sleek and very, you know, clean. This one's like this new, uh, nuded pink wallet that I also picked up at Target because this bad boy right here, I've had it for a year now and I just don't really care for how bulky it is. And like, I always have to like go like this to like get my cards out when I can just have them fully right here and just put my cash and change in there. But that is it for my Ulta Sephora haul. I just got back from Walmart and this day has been so busy. It's 2.32. I'm pooped. But I'm going to No. Oh, I don't think it did. I'm going to just show you a few of my groceries that I got. I got two packs of these caramel rice cakes. Um, I ate them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. And you can put peanut butter on top of them and then put like any type of fruit. Usually I do strawberries. So I got two packs of those. I picked up some So Delicious Dairy Free Coconut Milk Yogurt. Only four of these come in a pack. I wish they would make these bigger. So I got two packs of these. I picked up these plant-based chicken that you can like saute on the stove or you can grill them too. Can you put them in the oven? I don't know. But I usually eat these with my ramen. Like I'll make some ramen, make these, and then put these inside of my ramen noodles and put some hot sauce in them. So pick these up. They also come in a lemon pepper flavor too, which is really good. And some pear halves. I really want to put this up because it looks cute, but also I haven't had pear in a hot minute. I don't think I've had, mm, I think I had like one pear in the beginning of this summer, but that was it. These Ollie Comeback Cravings, this was my first time seeing them, so I really don't know if they work or not, but apparently they're really great for your metabolism and it reduces cravings, so. Bottle of water, some Louisiana hot sauce. I picked up these women's 50 plus multivitamins because I needed some more. Made with plant-based pectins. It's by the brand Alive. I've never seen this brand before, but I just picked them up. Because the other gummies that I had, like the Oli or Ollie or whatever that brand is, they were just like too, uh, I don't know, they were too sticky and they were like stuck together. And I wasn't with that. I also bought a bunch of plant-based chicken and rice because sometimes I don't like cooking. I just like to be... Uh, not necessarily lazy, but you know, it's an easy meal. Got like eight cans of these. I also picked up this shirt. I saw that it was for $10. Like why not anything spooky, Halloween related, scary movies related, I'm gonna get it. Dude, I was looking for a Hocus Pocus shirt. Maybe I need to go to a certain store to get that. Some more um, almond milk, well, the other ones I got were coconut milk, but these are almond milk based. They're still strawberry. And this is by Silk. The company Silk and those ones are so delicious. They also make really great ice cream sandwiches. All's Well Glow Vanilla and Pear Coconut Room and Linen Spray. I smelled like five of these when I was in Walmart. And about like two or three of them smelled good. Um, so I just picked that one up. And then this cashmere and marshmallow like fragrance oil. Because I also bought a fragrance warmer, which is supposed to be more efficient rather than burning candles and like you can smell the fragrance a lot faster. Oh, some mouthwash too. So, and that was like $10. Hopefully it works. Last but not least, some strawberries, which I'm about to clean these right now and put them in some containers so I can start like, not meal prepping, but just organizing my stuff for the week of what I'm gonna be eating. And I got this cute reusable bag at Marshalls, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. 